This is JG Ramos, the Accidentology Son. Welcome back to the review of the week. This time out, it's going to be probably yeah, the second time. The seven deadly sins, Four Nights of the Apocalypse, episode four. <laughs> so, keep on watching, subscribe to this channel, and of course hit like. Okay. Huwag na tayo magpatumpik-tumpik pa guys. Let's get into the deep dive. Face! I like the um... Uh, the build-up type of pacing this episode had. The way it introduced a um... Probably the... Probably the, the third horseman. Not the third horseman. The third knight of the apocalypse. In Nasiens. And really, really did it in a um... In a subtle but... Very seven deadly sins way. Obviously, I got no complaints, guys, about the pacing of this episode. Talagang masasabi niyo na, oi, spin off na seven deadly sins to. And you would probably get, you'd prob your your brain would probably go back to the time of the original seven and seven deadly sins. Don't get me wrong, guys. The pacing was absolutely um, uh, was was absolutely was, was crazy good. The pacing in this episode was absolutely good. Right? Talagang, uh, ma marinimind kayo na seven deadly sins nga itong pinapanood nyo. Although spin-off lang siya. No naman! First gear ship was when Percival drank that isang buong vial halos ng drug na yun on purpose. For me, that's a no-brainer. Plus, all throughout the entire first third of the episode, tinatanong ni Percival kay Nasiens kung bakit niya ginagawa ito. It just goes to show you how um uh, how good-natured a kid Percival is. And uh, how likable this character is. Right? He has no qualms about uh, getting his point across to you even even if it means even if, even if it is at the cost of his own life. Okay? So to show you how likable this character is. Second gear shift was when Nasian showed his true powers. This is probably the most no-brainer gear shift of the, um, uh, in the entire anime so far. But for this episode, it's the most no-brainer. Bakit? Well, nagpakita na ng kapangyarihan si Nasian. Right? Okay. Through this, you can see na Okay. So, hindi ka pala pwedeng lasunin. Pagkos, pwede mong ibalik sa akin yung laso na binigay ko sa'yo. Pwede mong ibampatay sa akin yan. <laughs> what a way to cap off a, um, what call this, uh, on, uh, probably a whole, a whole episode dedicated to introducing this character. Final gear shift <clears throat> was when his mentor, Ordo, returned as a demon. Another no-brainer of a gear ship, folks. Bakit? Eh, eh sasabihin lang sa'yo. Sasabihin lang sa'yo ng, uh, ng, ng gear ship ito. Okay, may bagong problema ang ating mga bida. So, you better watch the next one. <laughs> you better watch the next episode. Ganun lang yan eh. This gear ship has, a, has that deep dive factor. So, it'll make, you want, it'll make you want to watch the next episode. Hands down. Because that's what gear ships do, guys. So these three gear shifts that I saw, hey, eh, nope. I just could not see um, any fan, at least of the seven of the of the entire anime franchise na magiskip na lang para panoorin tong tatlong gear shift na to. Nope, I couldn't see it. You have to watch the episode from start to finish. Para maintindihan ninyo yung series of events leading to um, getting Percival, uh, getting Nasians into Percival's fold. Ano niyo from start to finish ang episode to? Para lalo nyo makilala si Nasians. Plotwise. There's a rather long backstory sequence here, pero it completely explains the origin of Nasians. You know, it's still a backstory sequence, although a compelling one. Therefore, Ratchado ang plot, guys! Hindi ko talaga madidinay yung yung katotohanan na, ano eh, na mahabang backstory sequence ito. 
Pero, pero, it's, uh, it's perfectly placed in the episode. Kumbaga, uh, pinakita ito, midway through, siguro, that's probably the middle, probably the entire middle third of the episode. So, okay lang. Okay, okay lang. Pero, bottom line, guys, it has a superbly well, superbly ironed out plot. Maganda yung pasok kasi ng backstory sequence dito ni Nasiens. And Telecom Animation probably did this because they want to, siguro in the next, siguro uh, in the next episode, they want to concentrate on a um, potential, lo, potentially long battle sequence. Mukhang, mukhang mahihirapan ang mga bida natin dito sa demonyong ito eh. But bottom line guys, superbly iron out plot ang episode na to. So, pace, flow, and plot all came together. Talagang masasabi nyo na, wow, talaga seven deadly seeds nga ito. Ganitong ganito rin yung ano eh, yung, uh, yung takbo ng story, yung story ng original eh. Pero, remind you guys, this is a totally different story. It's an absolute spin-off. So, The Seven Deadly Sins, Four Nights of the Apocalypse, Episode 4. No brainer.